what is the altar? So I have to say, with the altar, please forget everything you've ever heard about what an altar is, okay? All that stuff about altar boys, altar calls, forget about it. That's not what the Bible unveils is, is the matter of an, of an altar. The matter of an altar is something related to presenting yourself, all that you are and all that you would have, and giving it to the Lord so that the Lord would burn it, consume it, and use it for whatever the Lord wants. That is what a real altar is. Okay, And that's what Abraham did. He built an altar that is, it was his way, or it is the way of saying, Lord, all that I am, all that I have, I just give to you. I want you. You just appeared to me, and now I'm crazy. I just love you, and I want to give my whole being to you. That is the altar life. And it's actually the first step to living by faith. We all have to pass through this step. I also want to talk about the expression of this kind of living, and that is the tent. So we talked about the meaning of this living by faith, which is the altar giving yourself, and then the expression of living by faith is the expression seen in a tent. So Hebrews talks about him dwelling in tent as, as Abraham, uh, Isaac, his son, and Jacob. They all lived in tents, okay? Now, to live in a tent, I, I, I just want us to pay attention to the verses in Genesis 12, 6 through 8. When he, uh, which came first, the altar or the tent? The altar, right? And then the tent. What is the purpose of the tent? What is the tent for? What do people use tents for? Yeah, to live, right? To, to camp. To, to, they got a shelter from the rain, right? It's where they live. It's where you would live. So the tent is something related to our living. And Abraham firstly took care of fellowship with God, and he firstly took care of the worship of God, right? The altar came first. So do you see? The first thing is the taking care of the worship of God and taking care of his fellowship with God. That was the first thing. The second thing was the tent, okay? The tent is his living. He was one who, as, who lived by faith, and as such, he took care of God first, then the living. Uh, <clears throat> you can say, uh, there's a phrase that some of us uh, in our group have said before, uh, work or school is what you do on the way to the meeting. Do you understand that kind of phrase? Uh, work is what you do on the way to the meeting. That means you might be working on your tent at USC. Okay, You're helping out, you're getting uh, training right in education. I did it, you know, you're doing it, it's proper, we need it. We're human beings, we want trained minds, right? We're not going to waste our human existence, we want, the, we want top education. That's very good. And then, but which comes first though? Sometimes our living may come first and we may say, well, I don't know if I can follow you Lord, I got to take care of this, I need to make sure I get this uh, project done. You know, let me give you an example. There's a balance. There was a time when I, uh, in college, had, a, had to study hard for a project, and that weekend was the weekend of the college conference, the college conference, uh, which, which was going to be a, a three-day weekend, enjoying something in the Word of God. All the college, uh, different colleges all over the state were going to come. It was going to be great, you know? And that weekend, uh, <clears throat> there was a consideration, well... I have this project, I should take care of this, I need to fix, uh, take care of my living situation, and this is my duty for my living, and it's good and proper. But all of a sudden the Lord started speaking to me and saying, I think your project will be okay, I want you to go to this conference. 
and I had the sense within that I should probably go to the conference. But I didn't listen to the speaking. I got more here, and I started thinking, well, if I go, I'm going to mess. I just, I'm too anxious. I better do stay. So I, I ended up staying, and that weekend was a miserable weekend. <laughs> not only did I not enjoy the Lord, I didn't get anything done <laughs> related to the project, related to the study. Okay, so the Lord was faithful. He was speaking. You see, a living by faith is a living in which you take care of the fellowship with God and the communication with God first. Then you may take care of the things of your tent, okay? So isn't that marvelous? This is the experience of Abraham living by faith. <laughs>